So let me get the questions. Question paper. Generally what we are doing here, we are solving previous year questions. Okay, sir. So because the revision of uh, practice over, so we are doing the revision like first we'll see chapter wise as per the the students have asked, like, we want to do this chapter, we want some chapter. If no no chapters, then I'll directly give questions from papers, like previous year, full paper will solve. Okay, sir. Chalo. A question. Oh, yeah. So everyone can see my screen, right? Shirisha, Akshit. Yes, sir. Aditi. Yes. Okay, guys. Then let's start with some easy question first, as usual. Uh, let me start some easy. Uh, this was asked in 2022. It's easy. Mm -hmm. Fine. A charged particle is moving in a uniform magnetic field to I. Plus three J T. It has an acceleration of alpha I minus four J meter per second square. Oh, nice. It's very, very easy. Come on. Then value of alpha will be say three, six, options are two, three, six, twelve. It was asking mains twenty twenty two. July down. Very easy. <clears throat> Come on. Do you guys know the formula? Anyone? No? F equals two. Q. What is it? F equals to Q. Cos B.
and here f equals to m a. In this one, like, uh, we, yeah, are you getting any idea or shall I start solving? So, can I solve it once? Sure, sure, I'll solve it. Yeah, 12 standard guys, any idea? Or shall I solve? Kyati, Akshit, Shirisha, Tanish. Sir, solve. Tell me. No idea. No. See, we have these two things. See here, we have B, we have acceleration. Okay. A charge particle is moving in a uniform magnetic field. So if it has acceleration this much, then the value of alpha will be alpha is here. So with this formula, we can say this is dot product equals to Q V cross B, okay. Out of all this, if I take A and B, sorry, acceleration and this one, B are perpendicular. Okay, so if it is perpendicular, that means A dot B should be equals to zero. If it is equals to zero, that means if I take a, what is a alpha i, alpha i cap, minus 4j cap, 2i cap, plus 3j cap equals to zero. Now, how to expand this? Two alpha minus 12 equals to zero. So alpha equals to 12 by 6, sorry, 12 by 2 is 6. 6 is the answer. Sir, how do we know acceleration and uh, B? Yeah, B are different. perpendicular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, in this one, like what we said, what we, what is here, like a charge particle is moving uniform magnetic field and it has acceleration this one, fine. This question we read. Now, whenever this force, like a mechanical force, F equals to MA, and electrostatic force, or this one, B, if we have perpendicular of this acceleration B, see this one and this one X, uh, actually what is this force means, like uh, this V and B, if this is area, okay, so magnetic of velocity of this magnetic field and this charge particle Q, they are perpendicular. So wherever this is perpendicular to it, like a velocity vector and this B vector magnetic field, they are perpendicular to it. Then only we can consider that this and this are equal. 
this formula and this formula are equal so they perpendicular every single time or only for this question only for like some conditions like uh, if they are equal then only we can otherwise they will not give acceleration here okay okay sir they have to give some other values to find out velocity or some charge or something like that some relation okay sir. let's go for yeah any other question anyone This is good. Proton, deuterium, alpha particle, the same kind of answer. Okay, shall we try this? No, but, but I want to give same type so that I can check you understood or not. Let me search. There is no same question. Yeah, this one, 14th one we can do. This was the first one, then we can do this 14th one. Yeah, 14th one is similar. A charged particle. I guess it's similar. Okay, yeah. It almost, not exactly something different here, but you can give a try. Carrying charge, one micro coulomb, moving with velocity, two i plus three j. Four k. Which is per second. If an external magnetic field of I I into sorry into ten to power minus three Tesla. exist in region where particle is moving in the force on particle is f equals to sorry F into 10 to power minus 9 Newton. Achha. Vector F is. Now in this one, all answers are in IJK. Okay, so get me in IJK.
sir do we have to take determinants of this yeah because okay. this all in ijk without no you can solve anyhow but determinant will be easy i guess okay sir and in that previous question so if you don't forget if you don't want to forget you can write a hint also like to what i said yeah we got here a and this are perpendicular so with that we can write that force and force of this one uh, how to we how do we name this force of m perpendicular to b so that you will not forget to remember so make a okay. box for this Let me remember. If I have seen this type of question, they were asked like many times. So I'm getting minus thirty i cap plus thirty two j cap minus eight k cap. Nine. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't have eight. We have nine here. Thirty. Thirty two and nine. Okay, all option are thirty thirty two nine. What is this? Yeah. Okay. Minus difference. Okay. What's your exit answer? Uh, minus thirty i cap. Thirty i cap. Thirty two j cap. Minus nine k. Minus nine k cap. Okay. So let's check. Question number fourteen. What is it? I'm not sure about the units, sir. Like I don't know how to change. Force means newton only. The charge. It's in microcoulomb. Oh yeah, one ten to power minus six. Okay, okay. But this answer seems correct. Minus thirty plus thirty two minus nine. Yeah, option number B is correct. So others, those who don't know, same formula. Mostly learn standard not in touch with this. Same formula, guys. Sec one micro coulomb is ten to power minus six coulomb. So here, same. F equals to Q V cross B. Now we have V. V is equals to this one. V is this one. So V is three two I plus three J. Sorry, this is J plus four K cap cap. And B equals to phi i plus three j minus six k into ten to the power minus three. ठीक है, just multiply at the end. You can multiply this power. You see that it should be three and three six nine. So because already nine is there, fine. So no need to worry about the powers. It's our half work is already done. No need to worry about power. We need to just worry about v and b. So, if you want to make three digit uh, means uh, three dimension this one, so easy way to solve that is determinant. Uh, learn standard guys, do you have have you studied determinant? Yes, only Aditi, right? Aditi. Yes, Do you sir. know? Have you studied determinant form? No, sir, not yet. Not yet. So, okay, I'll tell you here. It's very easy. If I tell you one time, you will remember. It's very easy. So, this is i j k. Okay. So, I'll write first velocity vectors. All this, just digits, two, three, four, and magnetic field vectors. I mean values. Five three minus six. Okay. 
Uh, now, how to solve this? I'll change the color. For first one, I into this into this, this into this minus. Minus 18 minus 12. This is minus because of 6. So this minus of this product, this product, this product minus of this product. And minus J. So first I, then J. So whichever side we are taking, that side will hide. Or that will not consider here. See. First, I did what for I, so I didn't consider this two. I just took remaining. Then I'll take J, I'll not consider this one. So remainings are this and this. So two six are 12. minus 12 minus of what is this 20 okay plus k k i'll not include first and last this one and this one i'll not include this remaining are two threes are six minus five threes are 15 Aditi, are you able to understand? I shall explain again. Because others, they already have studied in mathematics. Aditi? Yes, sir. Are you able to understand? Yes, sir. You understood everything what I did? Yeah. Okay. Don't feel shy to ask to explain again, okay? Others? Understood? Akshit, Shamhita, Shirisha, Tanesh? Yes, sir. Okay, then remaining is just our mathematics. So minus 30 I minus and minus plus 32 J cap. Plus six minus five fifteen. how much? Minus nine, minus nine K cap. So that's what our answer is. Yeah. Shall we go for next question? Some different type of the time now? Yeah, different time. Let's take one two question. I guess so this is Choto. Yeah, and this was asked in which year? 2020. Okay, so question says here a proton, deuteron, Chisha, are you present? Yes, yeah, sir. Are you solving? 
Yes, sir. If you're not able to understand, you can ask. Proton, neutron, no, alpha particle, and with the same kinetic energy enters into magnetic field. Right. Okay. See, previously we assumed here. Where is this? Ah, here it's already given in question itself. See, our half work is done, but it is different way. It's not about force here. They are talking about magnetic field and what is this? Okay, let me finish this. Then we get idea. Right angle to. Sorry. To magnetic field. Oh, oh, the respective circular path is okay. So these three are there one, two, three. So they are in ratio given. Okay, the ratios they are asking ratios. So options are one is to root two, is to root two. Then one is to one is to root two. Then root two is to one is to one. One is to root two is to one. Okay, right angle to it. Okay. Now, see, 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 Yes, guys, you want to try first or shall I give you a hint? Bolo, bolo. So I'll try. Okay. Proton, deuterium, and alpha particle. Okay. See, masses are different. If you know masses, you can finish it. Ratio of masses. It's all about mass here. Kinetic energy is ma uh, half mv square. So if we know mass here, proton will be m. So deuteron will be two times of proton. Alpha particle will be four times. And charge will be two times. Alpha particle. Deuteron and proton will be same. Okay, let me start something so that till then you can continue whatever you're doing. Because even I will also take time to get conditions.
okay so let's see here r we know radius with respect to this one okay see radius formula for circular path for like the circular path only no so r which will be equals to mv by qb forces we are just comparing forces now mv we need to introduce kinetic energy so ke equals to half mv square so mv equals to mv square equals to k into 2 and if i divide here it will become m so if i take this here it will become root okay everything substitute there so root m m by root m so it will become this one 2 m ke by qb see for kinetic energy is constant like for whole over thing it will be constant it will not change so we ratio of this radii will be depending on root of mass by charge particle only what type of charge particle is here every particle will have different different thing so uh, let's uh, what are this proton neutron and alpha so let's write here r for proton will be equals to root m by q so q is here e then r for neutron d will be equals to 2 times of m by it will be same r for alpha particle it will be 4 times of mass by alpha particle is always 2e this things you have to remember alpha particle is 2e proton neutron this all are 1e now remaining work you can do it i need the ratio of rp is to r d is to r alpha equals to root m by e is to root 2 m by e is to root 4 m by 2 e if this is 1 and this is 2 root 2 by 2 means again 1 so 1 is to root 2 is to 1 option number D. This also see how we got this formula. Anybody? Magnetic force equals to centripetal force. F equals to Q B. Like Q E. and here centripetal force mv by r m a so everything got cancel here you have v also there this v square by r so v will get cancel so i directly wrote here Q V B and here M V square by R V and V so one we left R goes that side remaining Q V. <clears throat> See if you if you're not getting just write the formulas both formulas side bit of force formula M V square by R and this is Q V B.
if we quit this we will